this time, uh, if we could have the children uh, come up uh, to, the, uh, to the screen here. And good morning, children. Um, I hope you all are doing well. And um, I can imagine your faces looking at the screen right now. And, and last week, I know, I guess the quick question is, let me quiz you here. Uh, do you remember what word we talked about last week? I guess I could quiz everyone here if you like. <laughs> Does anyone remember, kids? It starts with an R, ends with an N, has a C in the middle. I heard it. Sydney with the gold star. That's right. Reconciliation. Remember how many syllables that was? I don't remember. I think six, maybe six syllables. A big word. And, and remember, reconciliation was a great word as we remember what it means to bring back together. And today I'm going to give you another, uh, it might not be an SAT word. I don't think you'll ever see this word on an SAT. But for the sake of your eternal life, you shall, right? <laughs> and the word is resurrection. Resurre That's four syllables. Resurrection, not as many as last week. But what is the resurrection? That's a big word, right? Resurrection. It's a really big word that even is hard to spell, right? But what does the resurrection mean to you? Why is the resurrection important? Now, you might ask, well, what is the resurrection? And it's Jesus' words today in our gospel text, just as I read it, when he says, in three days, I will raise it up. The resurrection is, the key word is raise. Raise means to lift up, to go up, right? So when we say, I believe in Jesus' death on the cross, where he died for our sins, but also three days later, the resurrection, what we're saying is that Jesus, we believe, was raised from the dead. I mean, that is, that is a great miracle, isn't it, kids? The resurrection, in three days, I will raise it up again. The question is, kids, why is Jesus' resurrection being raised up so important? Why can't we just stay at his death on the cross and say it's done? Why is the resurrection important? Because the resurrection proves, it shows us, that all that Jesus promised, the forgiveness of our sins, eternal life, and salvation, is really found and kind of hammered home by what he has done in his resurrection. As it says in the Bible, without the resurrection, our faith is foolish. Our faith is nothing without the resurrection. So kids, the resurrection is so, it's so great because there we have the victory that in Christ raising, we too are raised all the way to eternal life. We too know for sure that we are forgiven of all of our sins, all by Jesus' resurrection being raised up for you. So take heart, have comfort. And because of it, you know who you are. You are a child of God, all by what Jesus has done for you. What a great God, gracious God we have. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for these children. Bless them, O Lord, in the one true faith. Guide them in your truth. And through all things, may they have great comfort in the resurrection. Bless them and keep them and grant them all joy, knowing full well that by your death and resurrection, you have forgiven them of all their sins. Bless them and lead them. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, let's continue with uh, our hymn of the day.